time flies when we're having fun. We're already at day eight of uh, this 21 days of limitless possibilities. I am Anita Goa, your trainer and yoga teacher for this program. Today we're going to flow again. Here's another little detox flow and we are moving towards paradise. We are doing birds of paradise. That is our peak pose. So a lot of um, hip opening. Uh, what's going to be helpful for this practice will be two yoga blocks as well as a yoga strap. So use whatever it is that you have, but if you have this, that's going to be great. All right, so let us get started. So we're going to start on the floor at the front of our mat, seated at the tips of our sitting bones. And lift your toes up off the floor and root into the four corners of your feet. So you're getting pretty used to that now. <laughs> and lift through the pelvic floor, lift through the lower belly, lift through the heart. And then inhale, rise and reach the arms up. And then exhale, slowly roll yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae. And then inhale, reach the arms over the head. And then exhale, bring the arms forward and slowly see if you can really dig in to your abs and lift up. Inhale, rise. Do that a few more times. And if you find that challenging, you can always place your hands behind your thighs and support yourself. You want to just move as smoothly and as mindfully as you possibly can. All right, one more time. Exhale, roll it down. And inhale it back. So we're just using this as our way to get started into our practice, just connecting the breath with the movements that we're making. And then slowly roll it down about halfway, join a little bit more through your abs and see if you can lift your legs up. Okay? And then place your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. And let your head rest back into your hands and draw the elbows in a little bit so your neck is supported. Flex your feet and we go into the yogic bicycle. So we make as big circles with the legs as we can. So we push the legs away and then we pull the legs towards us. Keep anchoring the hip bones into the floor. So all of the abdominal work and the leg work that we've done so far in the program has led us up to this moment. So there is some sense in the madness. Okay, just a few more times, warming up the hips, warming up the hamstrings and the legs, as well as getting strong abs. And then reverse, feel like you're digging your heels into the floor and breathing with it. Keep a soft little Mona Lisa smile there on your face. It's only yoga. Good. And start to feel the heat building up. Keep strengthening your Manipura Chakra, in the center for self-confidence, believing in yourself. Good. And then pause, draw the knees in, and release it back. Ah, you can give yourself a good sigh. And it just adjusts so that your lower, middle, and upper back is on the floor. I'm going to extend your left leg out. And then see if you can take a hold of the inside of your heel for a half happy baby. If you want to use a strap and use a strap to do it, you can do that. But you want to keep the sole of your foot facing the ceiling and drawing your knee towards your armpit and really extend out through your left heel so that you maintain full body extension. So breathe in here and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then you're going to draw the left knee in and we're going to change this so take a hold of your left foot, extend the right leg out. And then really anchor into your hip bones and keep your abdominal muscles engaged. So only do as much as you can. So don't 
let whatever limitation you might feel in your hips or anywhere else in your body, don't let that limit you. Just use the strap and just do the best that you can do at this moment. Keep your breath involved and it all comes together. Good, and then gradually release and draw the right knee in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to rock and roll back and forth a little bit, like we did with those um, ocean salutations. But we're going to keep the left leg extended, the right leg bent, and we're going to bend forward, reach for the big toe. And then we're going to rock back, rock back up, extend the right leg, bend the left leg, and reach for the right big toe. Okay? That two more times on each side. Inhale up and exhale it forward. Inhale back, exhale it forward. And try to keep the leg and the arm close together because that's going to help you out a lot when we get into the birds of paradise position. So you might feel a pretty deep stretch into your lower back as well. Good. And now you're going to roll it back down. Excellent. All right. So here, if you didn't use the strap for the half happy baby, you might want to take your strap now. So place the left foot onto the floor, take your strap and hold on to it. Extend your left leg out, hold that half happy baby. And from here, anchor down into the left hip bone and see if you can straighten out the right leg. And from there, bend the leg back into half happy baby. And you're going to rotate. So you stack your hips on top of each other and try to straighten out that right leg. And you get a deep twist of your spine. And you also get a deep stretch into your hamstring. Okay, now we're going to flow between these three. So half happy baby, extend the leg, back to half happy baby, and twist, rotate, extend. Good, do that one more time. It's pretty intense, so take your time here. Move slower if you feel that you need to and just hold it there. Take your right thumb to the right hip crease, draw the hip away, lift your left shoulder blade and drop your right shoulder blade down and hold it here for a few breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, and then slowly come back to the center and now your body might seem like it's all twisted and you just have to adjust yourself and we'll repeat this on the other side so each side feels different on our body so what you worked might have been your more open side or it might be your tighter side so you'll see what happens on this side so hold half happy baby straighten the leg out and then you bend back to half happy baby and you rotate and you extend the leg. Okay, just draw that hip away and then slowly come back to half happy baby. Extend, bend and rotate. So it's very important that you keep your breath engaged here and that you keep your abdominal muscles supporting you and only stretch it as far as you feel you can at the moment and don't think about what you think you should be able to do but just recognize what you are able to do it's a huge shift that can happen when we start to just recognize what we are able to do in this moment because that is quite a lot. Good. And then come back to the center. Ooh. Right now, just adjust your hips. 
All right, just extend your legs out and just feel all that openness there into your torso, into your hips. And release. Suspend your legs again and draw your knees into your chest. And you're now going to roll yourself up to sit. Cross your ankles. Come onto your hands and your knees and exhale it into a downward facing dog. Good. Hold it there. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Good. Then inhale, lift your right leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee into the navel and step the right foot forward. Come on to your fingertips. Lower the left knee into the floor. Inhale to Anjana Asana. And then exhale, lower your fingertips to the floor. Shift your weight back to straighten out your front leg. Do that again. Inhale it up into Anjanasana. And exhale. Shift your hips back, straighten out the front leg. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, Anjanasana. And exhale. Straighten it out. We bend the front knee, lift the back knee, pivot the left heel in, inhale it up into a warrior one. And then open and exhale it to a warrior two. Inhale, straighten out the front leg, reverse. And then exhale into a triangle pose. Slide that right arm down, reach the left arm up. Good. Look to the side, look down, or feel free to look up. Breathe in fully, exhale it out completely. Good. Then inhale, come back up, exhale it back to warrior two. Inhale to a low lunge, and then exhale, open up that right hip, and try to stack your hips on top of each other here. So press a little bit more into your right arm and press back into the left heel so that you're giving your right hip a good stretch, left calf a good stretch. Excellent and then lower the right foot to the floor. Good. Now inhale, lift your left leg to three-legged. Exhale, draw the knee into the navel, really round in and step the left foot forward. Come on to your fingertips. Lower the right knee into the floor and inhale back to Anjana Asana. And exhale, hinge it forward, straighten out the front leg. Do that again. Inhale. And exhale. All right, one more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to warrior one. Pivot that right heel in. Lift up. And exhale, open it up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straighten out that front leg, go up and back. And exhale, triangle pose. Slide the left arm down, reach the right arm up. Look down, look to the side, or look up. Breathe with it, breathe with it. Breathe with it. That's what we do. Luxuriate yourself in your own breath. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, lower the hands to the floor. Low lunge. 
Then lift the left leg and open up that left hip. So you stack your hips on top of each other. Press a little extra weight into the left arm. Press the right heel into the floor. And you can bend that leg. Just open up that left hip. Get a deep stretch into the right calf, hamstring, and left hip flexor. Good. Then, now this time, draw the knee into the navel and step it forward again. And step the right foot forward. Inhale to halfway pose. And exhale, fold it over your thighs. Inhale, rise all the way to the top. And then exhale, hinge it forward again. Good. Inhale, halfway. Then exhale, step the left foot back and pivot that left heel in. Inhale it up into a warrior one. And then exhale this time, bring the arms down and behind your back, left index finger on top of the right. Inhale, lift your chest, roll the shoulders open. And you exhale, hinge it forward for humble warrior. So try to keep your shoulders leveled and see if you can keep the right shoulder as close to that right knee there as you can. So you feel the thigh pressing against your torso. Then inhale it back up. Good. Do that two more times. Exhale, hinge it forward. Just interlace the left index finger on top of the right. Try to drop your head down and inhale it up. So it's important that you work from your legs up into your abs. And once you go down into the humble warrior, you just shake out your head. There's no pressure in your head or in your neck at all. Inhale it up. So just release what no longer is needed. Exhale open to warrior two. So by now, your right thigh should be burning a little bit. Good. So inhale, reverse warrior two, but straighten out the right leg. And then exhale, bend the knee for extended side angle. So here you're going to try to move into a bind, and I'll give you different variations. So if you can go into the bind just from the front, under, and join hands behind you, feel free to go ahead and hold that, pressing the arm and your torso against each other. If you find that to be very challenging, then lower the hands to the floor, lower the knee, and then step the right foot back, and then take a block or two, and place your foot on the block, and turn yourself sideways, like this. So the knee is over the ankle. And then from there, see if you can work your shoulder to the knee, pressing the arm and the thigh against each other. And from there, you can try to bind. Turn your thumb inwards, get around that elbow, and join hands. Okay, so you can try to practice it this way. This is going to help you for the birds of paradise. So choose whichever one will work for you. And to get out of it, make sure that you mindfully get out of it. So don't take any chances when it comes to your knee joints, thinking you can just extend your leg from there. <laughs> Inhale it back up. Good. And then exhale, lower the hands to the floor. Step that left foot forward. Inhale halfway. And exhale, fold. And just hold it here in that fold. Just move the arms a little bit side to side. It can feel sometimes a little crunchy into the hips when we start to move into those binding positions. So you want to make sure that you don't crunch it up. Halfway inhale, exhale, and fold. Good. Inhale, rise all the way to the top. And exhale, fold back over again. So we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, half. Exhale, step the right foot back. Pivot that right heel in and inhale it all the way up. Now you'll get a good stretch into that right hip there. 
and then exhale bring the arms down and behind your back right index finger on top of the left this time lift your chest roll the shoulders up and then exhale hinge it forward humble warrior just hold it here for a little bit feel the arm and the thigh pressing against each other good inhale it back up and again exhale hinge it forward left index finger on top of the right inhale it back up good last one exhale just flowing and breathing feeling supported through the legs through the abs shake out anything you don't need inhale it back up and then open exhale to warrior two good inhale straighten out the leg reverse go up and back and then exhale extended side angle so forearm can stay on the thigh so you can hold it here like we did on the other side you can go right into binding if you're used to that you know if you can't bind behind you take a strap and use a strap and if you want to try it with the block and do that modification lower the knee turn the foot in and place your foot on that block so it comes up a little bit higher open sideways place the knee, shoulder to the inside of the knee and then you can try to work with it and if using a strap will help you use the strap just feel the shoulder blades plugging together so the chest and the navel opens up to the sky up into the possibilities right that's what we're doing and when you're ready to come out of it release out of it very mindfully say you're here good lower the hands to the floor low lunge step it forward inhale halfway and exhale fold good shake it loose and just move it a little bit side to side so you bend and extend one leg at a time extend the arms to the side so you stretch yourself out of your hips a little bit if you found that that got a little bit punchy and then come to the center inhale rise all the way to the top and exhale namaste good it gets a little serious <laughs> but now we're going to really fly like a bird okay so birds of paradise so what you're going to do is I got give you different variations here that you can do so separate your feet so that they're about um, shoulder distance apart and you're going to bend forward like this work your right shoulder to the inside of the knee as much as you can and then what you try to do is go ahead and bind and place your arms behind you then step your second leg in lift the right heel off the floor and start to feel that you're pouring the weight into your left leg now in order to come up it's very important that you keep the torso and the leg as close together as possible press through that left leg to rise up so that can be a bit challenging but just try see what happens press in can't quite find my focus here I'm gonna blame it on my camera woman Aliyah that she's distracting me no we don't do that of course not lift the chest roll the shoulders open so once you come up then you can try to straighten the leg out okay and then release it down now if you found that to be at this point kind of impossible now what you can do is place your hand behind the thigh press and then gradually come up hold behind your knee or hold in front and lift it up this way 
okay? So you make it easy on yourself. Don't make it more complicated and then rest it down. Now let's try to do that on the other side. So work the left shoulder to the inside of the knee. Hold it there. Work the arm behind. Join your hands behind. Use a strap if you need to. All right, then shift the weight into the right foot, lifting that left heel off. Just find a little bit of a bounce and then gradually press up. So of course, you know, this right leg of mine is my stronger leg. And my left hamstring I pulled a little while back. So I'm a little bit wary of that still as I use them independently. Gradually come up. Good. So it's okay. Just have fun with it. It's just yoga practice. So the more fun you can have on your yoga practice on the mat, the more fun you'll have on your yoga practice off the mat. Possibilities are endless. Ha! Ah! And release. So good. And lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Yeah. We will call that a day, won't we? <laughs> it is hard work being a yogi. It is hard work. <laughs> now work the soles of your feet together. Draw your heels towards your, body, towards your groin. Take your thumbs into the big toe joints. And then try to pry them open as much as you can. And just sit up tall. Okay, hold it here. And just find the length of your spine. Sit on a block or sit on a blanket if you need to. And really lift your rib cage up out of your hips so you create space after all that might seem like it was compressing your hips a lot. And from the chest lifting, shoulder blades pinning together, hinge it forward and hold it. Was that fun? Did you like that? Yeah, Birds of Paradise is a good one. And move your hips a little bit side to side. Breathe with it. Full breath in. Full breath out. And gradually start to come up. Ooh, good. Extend the legs out and just shake it loose a little bit. Shake it loose a little bit. Uh -huh. And cross the right knee on top of the left for the cow's face legs. You're going to try to level off your sitting bones a little bit. You can hold on to your feet. And start to bend over to your left, which is going to be to your right, depending on how you've set up your screen. But I'm feeling this on the right side of my waist. Doesn't matter which side you go to because we'll do both of them anyway. Okay, so roll the navel and the heart up towards the sky. Good. And then gradually release and just hinge it forward. Give your lower back, outer upper hips a bit of a release and come up. Good, and lean it back, and you're going to change your leg position. Level it off. Roll it open, just settle in, and bend over to the side. Good, breathe in, just feel that deep stretch all the way through the side of your body. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to bend sideways. So good to open up the hips. And gradually come up and bend it forward. Good. And lift. And just lean back so you balance between your sitting bones and your tailbone, and that way your legs will gradually come out and to straighten your legs out in front of you. Sit up tall. You can bend your knees, of course, keep your chest lifted, and from here, hinge it forward. 
So rest your hands to the outsides of your feet. Use your strap if you need to. Come up a little bit more and breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Full exhale, complete inhale. Good, and then slowly start to come up. And we will roll ourselves down to the floor. Gradually just roll into a Shavasana. Separate your legs and adjust your lower, middle, and upper back into the floor. Rest the arms at the side of your body. And if you have pillows or blankets that you want to place behind your head or behind your legs to soften your lower back a little bit extra, feel free to go for it. When you're in this position, just soften everything. Just let your breath naturally move in, naturally move out. Just feel that your belly rises on the inhale and it falls on the exhale. Just allowing the practice to come together, whichever way it has to, wants to, or needs to. Just notice how your body feels after flying high. Not letting anything weigh you down or push you down. Just release it, let it go, so you can find your own lightness and fly as high as you want to. There's always room to renew, to start anew. And slowly wiggle your toes and your fingers. If you want to stay in Shavasana longer, be my guest. You can pause the video here and stay longer. Otherwise, just draw your non-dominant leg in first, then your dominant leg in second. Wrap your arms around the thighs. Lift your head and see if you can kiss your knees or send them air kisses. Thank them for their support. Lower the head. And then roll over to your right side and push yourself up to a seated position. You can continue to keep your eyes closed if you want to. Sit on a block, sit on a blanket. And just notice how you feel as you return back to a seated position. Palms together in front of your heart. Draw your chin into your chest and just honor yourself. Thank yourself for your effort today. Bow down into the highest within you. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. I hope you feel amazing. Go out there, shine your brightest light, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Great. Good. Wow. Another one down. <laughs>